Hello and welcome to the Diet Dr. Pepper series. We are visiting Dover here today in Delaware. And of course the Gen 4 car as we are every week. And we are set to qualify. I am excited. I think this could be a very fun race. I actually like Dover quite a bit. Um, it's a very unique track. High banking. Um, and I don't know if uh, it could really be directly compared to any other track. It's got huge banking, kind of like Bristol, but obviously it's bigger than Bristol. The pit is clear. And it's got that unique, what is it, the concrete surface rather than regular asphalt, so. You can do some interesting things with the tires. And that's my biggest concern heading into this race, is I'm, am I going to be able to save tires like I need to? But first things first is qualifying. Use these tires up. For that. Alright. Feels like the track has been clean. One more lap. A little tight for three and four, that slowed me down a bit. Not as willing to push as hard as I uh, was earlier, so I am feel like I'm a little slower. But gave it my best here. 9.17 first lap, and we're in the 23s for the second lap, so. Oh well, we gave it our best shot. A little slower than I had been running, but right now looking pretty good. I think the track might just be a little bit slower. I said I thought maybe the track got cleaned. Because at the end of that open pra or that practice before qualifying here, it felt like the track was getting tighter. Maybe I felt like I had a little bit more grip that first lap. See uh, how this holds up. I know there's some uh, guys that could definitely get it to the eights, probably. Looking good. I'm going to practice a green flag pit stop. Because this series, this league, is awesome, and we need to use it a lot. And uh, of all places to want to practice green flag pit stop, this is one of the first on the list. Because this place is super difficult. So let's get it back down. Make sure we can turn down far enough and avoid those water barrels. And then you got to go all the way to 35, so... That does it. All right. Still P1 right now. We'll see how many people have to go still. Dan, Eric, that's it. Okay, so. Did they get laps in? Are they still putting their laps in? There they are down there. I don't, I don't recognize Eric. Apologies if he has been here before. Good luck to him uh, if he's new or if he's not new. He's got the zero one. one Makes me think of like a Joe Nemechek or Jerry Nadeau forget exactly who was in the car around this time period. But they had that, like, army car. That's a classic one. Make sure we've got everything how we want it. Looks good there. Right. Waiting on Eric. Not sure if he's putting laps in or not. Right now he has not done any. Still got a minute to do so. Oh, there it goes. Where'd he get? Oh, he just hit ready to race, I guess. All right, so we are P1, also known as pole. <laughs> All right, sweet. Good start. All right, I was a little worried because I got tight in three and four during qualifying. I thought maybe I lost a little bit too much speed, but thankfully able to still pull it off. I had a really good one and two, which I think uh, paid off really well. Got our practice pit stops in. I did several before the race. And then, of course, the one after qualifying. And I'm ready to go. I don't think I'm going to be very good with saving tires. That is just a fact. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm going to try. I'm going to try to be on the right rear, although I think the rear tire might be what's getting most of the abuse. 
It seems like the rear tire could potentially get really uh, hot. We are ready to go here. Basically called for an EOL last race um, after the incident. So we'll see if he uh, changes his mind with a very solid P2 run, or if he'll remind Gavin, or what's going to happen there. Uh, we certainly hope he doesn't feel like he has to. It was a genuine mistake. But he uh, said, I want to be sent to the rear the next race, after he got the win last week. So, there is your starting lineup right here. And while we're waiting for warm-up, I will go ahead and bring up the league standings. Heading into this race, we are right about the halfway point, I believe, in the Diet Doctor's Pepper Series season. I believe I heard Gavin say that. And so while we're waiting, we'll get the points up so we can see what we have going on before the race starts. All right. Has it popped up? No, because I have to click this button. There we go. All right, here we go. So right now, Gavin in the lead. He's been consistent, which is just what you need in a classic point system like this. We've gotten ourselves a couple of wins, but not so much the consistency. We've been involved in a couple of wrecks um, here and there. And then the disconnect at Bristol. And, uh, you know, those sorts of DNFs we can really hurt your points uh, totals. And you can see my average finish a little bit higher than the guys surrounding. And so we're going to really try to hope we can bring that down a little bit. And get some good finishes and uh, maybe see if we can take the lead from Gavin but pumpkin spice season <laughs> the wife is here with pumpkin spice <laughs> I believe she just went to Starbucks never had uh, any Starbucks drinks I don't think no that's okay I don't it's because I don't drink coffee so this is a chai tea latte with soy milk, and this is a pumpkin wrap uh, oatmeal. Ooh. Got a nice haul there, it sounds like. <laughs> I like how you, you picked two different ones so you could get the variety platter. <laughs> it is kind of hot in here, but I got a glass of water, so we're good. <laughs> but we will get that off the screen, and as you can see... We are just about to get started here. Take a look at where we'll be pitting, and that we've got about 61.7 laps of fuel on a full tank estimated. 200 laps out here, so I guess the plan would be divide this thing 50 50 and 50. So 50 100, 150, I guess is the smart way to put that. So I don't think we would be able to, Remember to stretch it any uh, further than well, that. Yeah. Yeah, I got you. But it's time to get going here. I'm excited. Hopefully we can avoid any accidents today. Gracie is going to the rear. He qualified second, but will now be at the back. So good luck to him. He'll have a very entertaining race, I bet. I'm sure he can move through the field, though. I bet he's got that talent. I'm not so sure we won't see him by the end of this one. So, say we get 61 laps. Yeah, we're not going to be able to make that a two-stop race. So it is a three-stop race. Is that correct? So 50, 100, 150. That's a three-stop race. Okay. Not a two-stop, a three-stop. So I guess we'll plan on doing that. Um... Yeah, Nick makes a good point. May need to add a pace lap. Have a good ride. Because it's only one to green here at Dover. And that was probably a good call. So, All right. The track temp is 94. It'll give us some time. 75 Fahrenheit. Basically getting out of the way. Uh, that'll give us some time. We're not going green. Not going green. Hold position behind the pace car. Huh. On the outside we're, not, we're not going green. Not Doing going some weird green. stuff. Um, on the inside. That'll give us the chance to figure out what gear we're starting in.
Pretty slow pace speeds. Is it a first gear start? I think it's a first gear start, I'll be honest with you. It's pretty uh, uneasy, but... Yeah, I like that. I think we're going to do a first gear start. Just got to be very careful. Too bad EOL can't be applied before consecrated. So that's what we'll do. We got the 31 of Ryan in the pits. That's interesting. He's choosing to start from pit lane, or maybe he just missed the grid. Not sure. Should be one to green now, though, after the delayed green. One to go. Yeah, there All it is. Right. So we'll ride around in second gear and then shift to first once we get a little closer. Hopefully don't make a fool of ourselves and spin it out or something dumb. So Mitch will be on the outside now. Since Tracy moved to the back. That whole row moves up one. I hope this isn't a bad idea to do this first gear start. Really felt like that was the way to go though. Everyone should be ready. We've had the time to get all lined up. Okay, Colton. Here we go. Go. Green flag. Green flag. All right, that'll work. A little bit loose, but we're fine. Try to get it on the right rear a little bit. Goes Ryan out of the pits. Mitch all over us back there. The guy behind has just done a 23.1. Probably want to back it down a little bit. Just so that way we uh, hopefully don't kill our tires too bad. Really don't know what they're gonna do though. Really don't. Tire wear wise. Mitch is pressuring us, but we got a big gap behind him. Interesting. We'll see what happens to our tires. Probably horrible, terrible things. Already feeling like it's getting a little tighter on entry. Got our brake bias back to 60, get some extra turn on our entries. Could maybe put that further back in the car if necessary later. Be careful around that apron. Could definitely uh, grab us.
We are through eight laps. Careful, I'm getting a little too close to the wall. I'm gonna regret doing that. I end up smacking it. You've just done a 23.5. It just made me nervous back there. I feel like I'm overdriving. I should probably not be doing that. I want the track position, but I don't want to kill my tires keeping it either. I feel as like it's exactly what's happening right now. I think I gotta be smoother. Gotta make it to about 50 before we pit. I guess it's good now if I'm gonna overdrive to learn about it early so I can make the adjustments for later other than uh, finding out at the end of the race or something. Did a little bit of a diamond there. I didn't really like how it felt, though, to be honest. Not really what I was going for. Failure of tire saving, I think, is going to come into play. I believe I see JP on his way. He's a second back in third now. tight and it's still pretty early not what I wanted uh oh I see smoke someone wrecking sure I messed up my whole quarter though I hesitated on entry it messed up my line Gotta focus on what I'm doing. Gosh, we almost got wrecked. Yeah. Holy cow, I hope I gave him enough room. Get tight down there, though. Sorry, right. everyone. Your lap time was 24.6. Alright, gotta back it down to match our new tires and their deadness. That was a horrible exit, that corner. JP getting around Mitch, he's been much better to his tires. He needed the right pace to take this thing. 
I might put my brake bias further back. I don't know. The problem is, you got to do a green flag pit stop potentially, and I don't want my brake bias in my trunk if uh, I'm going to have to do a pit in. Be bad news. Car is definitely way too tight. Gonna need to go much softer next time. I am so sorry. I did not mean to. Got people on pit road. I thought I saw. A little early for that. It might have been damage of some sort. Fight in the car. AP looking to get a run. Hasn't been able to do it yet. He's going to go high though. This will probably be enough for him, I bet. He's going to get that run off from going answering high. No, not quite. Interesting. It's going to be very difficult to pass here today. Just let the bottom open. That would have been the way for him to get around, I bet. That was at 24.6. Oh, boy. Oh my gosh. I know I'm parking it on entry. I'm sorry, my car is so tight. It's got so much better tires than me right now. Okay. Thank you. Oof. I need to do a much better job next run if I want to compete. Because these tires are dead. Go ahead, Jack. He's looking low. Oh man, this thing is a hustle and a half to keep under me. I might just have to let him go or I'm going to crash this thing. It's going now. Car inside. You've just done it. 24.8. Still there. Hold your line. Clear inside. Alright. Alright. He's going to drive away now. He's got so much more tire. Looks like it's going to be very tough to pass, though, here today. Something very interesting to note. I might pit lap 51, if not sooner, just because of how bad I have been on my tires. Traffic coming up. Interesting. Outside. Coming up on him quick. Clear outside if you want to. He holds his line, so I appreciate that. 
That's all we can really ask for. It's on me if I just slam into the back of him and he's holding his line. Alright, P2, we got half a second back to Mitch. I think Mitch probably hurt his tires as well. Following me. And then I think him trying to make a pass probably killed his right front as well. I bet I got a point. You've got 10 minutes of fuel. Go ahead, Dan. Be interesting to see where Tracy is with how difficult it is to pass. Real show of skill for him to make up even half of the field. I bet he could do it though. Pulling away from Mitch behind. Somehow, with my dead tires. Fighting it on exit every time. Major uh, counter steer. To prevent this thing from spinning out. It's AP driving away. I'm going to need to be better long run if I want a chance to beat him today. It's looking pretty strong. after my annoying driving holding him up. I don't like blocking, but I was just gonna hold my line, wait until he got a run on me enough to be alongside. Making sure that I kept it low in the corners. I know I was super slow, so I appreciate him not just running into the back of me. Uh, one of those fun things that people in public lobbies like to do. They'll catch you and then just slam into the back of you when they've got better tires or something. It's happened to me a couple times. Now the brakes hard. I'm trying to get this thing slow. JP driving away though. At the very least, I feel like I'm getting on the right rear enough, where I'm still getting a pretty good well, amount of turn right. through center and exit, at least. Go here. Go oh my gosh, it drifts up a little bit. Cry now. Guess I didn't necessarily need to make it that close. Thought he was going to be by me. JP's got a couple of lap cars side by side up in front of him. They sorted it out. I'm gonna pit lap 51 just so if there's lap 50 guys coming in, they mess that up by accident. That lap time was 24.9. Captain Phillips ahead is now 1.6. Okay, they are battling for position up here. Be careful as I'm approaching. Outside. Outside, clear. Outside. Slam on the brakes because I catch him at just the worst possible time. Clear. 
cost me a lot of time there, but that's just how it goes. Go ahead, just stop. Thanks, bud. I think I saw Nick back in third. No, Gavin, they were battling for position, I assume. Like a second and a half back at the moment. Be careful not to let this thing snap on me. Hope we can cycle out through the green flag pit stops, because I think I'm going to go for it. About lap 51. So if they bring out a caution... That's just going to be what happens, I guess. away from Gavin and Nick back there, but only just because they're battling, I think. I've done horrible things to my tires. Alright, not next time, but the next, the time after that. I think it's when we're coming in. It'll be interesting to see what JP does. Is he coming in on 50? Is he waiting longer? You can definitely see him wanting to wait longer since he's got tire advantage, presumably. Anybody pitting this time? I'm gonna find out. But I'm coming in. This time. I think we got enough room behind us that I don't have to say anything. Hopefully not. Pit lane speed limit right, coming is in. 35 miles per hour. We'll need to stop again. Is this a mistake? I don't know. Who knows? I gotta do better this run with my tires, though. Thanks, bud. The lead is fitting now. Is Five, three, two, is now one. Right here. Alright. 2651. <laughs> Seventy-five, thirty. That's it. Go. <laughs> There's traffic on Big the exit. Big car, get in this lap. Easy now. Eighteen, thirty. All right. Thanks, I don't know about that exit, but it's a thing that happened. Eighty-six, put in the stand by. How much time will we gain? Only one lap of advantage. There he is. Oh my god, this is killing me. Oh my god. Unbelievable, man. That's not Alan's fault. That just destroyed me, though. I really wanted that track position. I guess he was pitting there, so he couldn't... Uh. Oh well. Be better the tires this, la this uh, run, I guess. Or at least try to be. How do we do that? I don't know. V12. The car behind you, 
bidding. Nine fitting in this time. The lead is bidding now. Car inside. Stay high. Clear. Sorry, Alright, All right. JP got held up pretty bad there. Got people swerving around, it looks like. Uh oh. Smoke. Someone's wrecking up the exit, maybe. What are we doing? What are we doing? Oh my god. That was a mess. We need to learn something from JP here. I think it's the lesson I'm learning. Try to figure out how he's doing it. Really diamonding it, it looks like. Really gonna hit the brakes hard this time. Hopefully get some turn in with those... Uh, That brake by bias back. Go high, I'm pat on the flap. Alright. So JP gets the track position, unfortunately. I think we might have had a chance to get around him. Uh, cut lap traffic in a very bad spot and then a lot of thousand other things happen so got people going long Car outside. Clear outside if you want it. keep catching a guy in a bad spot getting loose We're right on his bumper now. Hey, uh, John and Chuck, I'll go high here, bud. Oh, this is fun. Really interesting to see what happens this run now, now that I'm going real hard on the brakes. Completely different way of approach than I did the first run. But is it going to make a big difference? I don't know. Probably not, to be honest. I needed to do something, because JP definitely had the better run. I feel like we're getting good rotation. That's all I can really ask for. I think he's getting good rotation too. So, I see him getting it yawed out. I think that's by design. He's got like this diamond line working where he's getting real sideways, but I think it's going to work out really well for him. Was that? Got about five seconds behind us, with John. Not sure when he pit. Can't see it on race lab quite yet. Lap, lap traffic in between us. Keep pulling away. That's all right. I'm hoping that I'll be able to be more competitive long run this time with this approach. So I'm not too concerned about if he's pulling away right now. Go 
Tracy. Oh, I raised the trail of uh, being up and out. I think it's three laps down or two. Maybe be able to get a pass, but I don't think we're going to get yellows like that. No. Uh-oh. Something happened with Tracy. Maybe he's fed? Yeah, that's weird what happened. I've never had to wear auto defense my tires. Oh, auto fuel. Okay, I remember something like that. What it is? Camera for me, Rick and That sucks. Not this race, of course. But the other one. I don't know. JP just might have Dover figured out. You've just done a it's looking very strong here today. Just gotta hope that this new approach I'm taking is gonna be better with the tires, but now it's just feeling loose. And I really messed up that corner. I would love it if you guys would have a yellow eventually. No. Yellows. Those are illegal in this I thought game. You'd get one in that pit cycle. Thought I was gonna be the yellow in that. Pit I have over a minute of damage. I would just love it if it would happen. No. Yeah, I apologize again for that, I'm sorry. It's all good, don't worry. I'm behind, I think that's better tires. I got yeah, loose there. Let's the hope that uh, he sets it up on us. Hopefully we don't have to waste too much time letting him by. We're in P2, gotta remember it's a long season. We don't have to get the win here today. Keep it consistent. You never know what could happen. Even if it's just P2, that is an excellent run, so. Not gonna get greedy. I was there. No, you put it in the middle of the corner. It's a little hard to correct for that. While you went, had a bad angle, you drifted up, left it open. Uh oh. This guy go, he's got a huge run. Clear inside. Chad's got fresher tires behind us. I'm gonna have to let him go eventually as well. Still just trying to be nice to my tires. I feel like I'm just making myself looser on exit though. Going easier. Which is not that great of an improvement. I'll say hi to JP. Ahead is now 1.3 seconds. Hey okay, Rick, gonna be on the high side. Outside. Clear up top. Round him, no problem. JP's checking out. Getting another big lead. We'll let Chad by um, just as soon as he gets a, a run on me. Close to it. I'm not quite there. Ugh, really loose on exit now. Doing that grip the wheel too tight thing, as I always do. Side by side up ahead. I don't know. I don't know how JP's doing it, man. He is fast. That's the whole run, I guess, is most important factor. Two up high, going pretty slow. And safely. 
clear outside. The gap to Phillips in front is now 1.7. 1 1.7 1 doing my front. Uh, answer. Oh, Nick King doing wheelies up there. Connection issue. Ooh, I must put myself in the wall. Easier on the throttle so we didn't drift up into him. This is a tough race. Pretty high stress. Just constantly got people all around you. Go ahead around me, person. Thanks. Got the apron a little bit there. I think chat's going, so we'll just let him go. Just gotta go quick. Okay, Colton. Cup times are pretty consistent. Got that done. It's time, but that's okay. It needed to happen. Losing time to the guys behind. Somehow I think I've done worse this run. Tires. Nah, I don't think that's the case. I think I'm just more on the right rear. Now the 58's gonna walk by. It's never ending. Always got somebody that's faster behind us. We'll pit at lap 100. Keep to that plan. That was a 24.7. Ten minutes of fuel remaining. Oh, chat on the wall. Okay, I wasn't sure where I was going to catch him. It's a little scary. And I just don't know how to do long run here, I think is what I'm learning. JP knows how I don't. The plan before was, or for this run, was just heavy braking on entry. Kind of like we're doing at the end of a run here, but it feels like it just killed the right front just as much. JP's running away with it. What to do? can do right now, I don't think. I mean, he's just driving away. I'm just doing the best I can with what I have. Currently, is a less strong pair of tires. A set of tires. There's more than two, believe it or not. On this, on this race car. Two point eight ahead now, or at least he was at the line. Caution free race though so far, that's been awesome. It almost feels like the tires are getting better. Maybe I'm just what do you want, higher low, Tracy? Evening out 
the uh, right rear. Uh, low. Alright, I'll give you low whenever you get here. Yeah. Fight the loose. Coming up to our next pit stop. Bad. I got a first and then just tires and Phillips ahead is now 2.3. Oh, ball ahead for Nick. He's holding on to it. Whoa, loose moment for the 23. I was fine on pit entry and then I started on pit pick with of all the things to do up. We still could very, very much get a caution at some point. The guys bouncing off the wall and losing it. It's crazy. And the line at the end is out from the actual, what looks like the end of the road too, which threw me off. I don't know why they have to make it 35 miles an hour Really felt like that was a back out moment for those guys, but it's okay. Clear high. We survive. That lap was at 25.1. JP's kind of stalled out. We're kind of getting back to him all of a sudden. I think we go longer this run. Weird, but actually no. I think it's just because we're on different parts of the track. It's kind of fluctuating. I changed my mind. It looked like we were catching them all of a sudden. I was like, man, I was coming in all of a sudden. I don't know, but just a little bit of uh, fluctuation from the relative. I think. I mean, we're hitting pretty consistent laps right now, though. We're getting green on the session last lap. that. Lots of green. I don't know what to make of that. You've just done a 24.8. We still come in here. Watch your speed. That behind was also pitting. I'll just do what's mathematically the best, I guess. Pitting this time, pitting this time. Dang, you found me out. <laughs> He's protecting against my undercut. Please inform me, John, when you're cutting. 10-4. The lead is pitting now. Is pitting. 5, 3, 2, 1. Right here. Sass is leading the race. That didn't even help, I feel like. Gonna pit this time, Tracy. Okay. That's it. Go. It's a car behind. Watch your mirrors. Stay behind the white line. Got a better pit exit this time. The lead is pitting now. How much can we catch, JP? Slow car down low. Easy now, cold tires, feeling slippy. There he is. Same thing, man. Inside. 
Dang it. Dang it. Really wanted to get around him. Okay, this time, Kaden. I want to get in front of him. Down low because there's a car there. It's so annoying. I don't like that idea. The one who was outside would have been very bad there. Been very bad there. Man, these Four. these lap cars are screwing me over. It's not their fault. It's just what's happening. They got to be somewhere, but holy cow. I want this track position on him, but I don't know how I'm going to get it. Why? Bullshit, Alan. Sliding through the corner. Ugh. Man, this is tough. Yep. I didn't slow down in time and got the water barrels. My race is over. Oh no, Alan got the water it's barrels. Nah, that's how I do. Didn't bring out a caution yeah, at least. That doesn't fault, make it any better for him. Man, with all those fast cars out there, I was didn't want to slow Come down on. and cause a wreck. Just waiting if I can somehow get a run on him. Catch me on the top. I guess I'm just gonna drive hard this run. I don't know what else I'm gonna do. It's already too late. I've already killed my tires, probably. JP's established he's better long run, so I really wanted to see if I could get in front of him, but not happening. Maybe I can at least pressure him and prevent him from doing his long run thing? Not likely. Get fastest lap at least, that'd be kind of cool. Oh, Nick is up there. Car He's going long. Not trying to get to his inside, I almost did though without him trying to. I think our uh, opportunity to get around him here is uh, escaping us. Casey, real slow. JP. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm trying everything.
ਇੱਕ ਦੀ ਉਹ ਮਾਰ ਗਿਆ Give it everything I got. It's making it really loose, which I guess is okay. I think you want the bottom when you get me. Yeah, the bottom. You've just done at 23.9. Having a lot of fun. That's worth something. It's fun driving this thing like it's on fire. Thanks. I got it. GP's starting to drive away though, as he does, as he, as he always does. Yep, it's coming. Thanks, Benjamin. Clear. Pen on the flat. Good call. Needed to get around JP before the tires got older. It's not going to happen now. He's going to drive away again. Hopefully I didn't do too much damage to him in the meantime. Still got guys staying out long. 85 pivots. That lap time was 24.1. Oh my god. What does this mean? Chief Gavin, on your video, you gotta watch, watch that wreck. Watch what I, how I missed it. What does this mean? We're on the lead lap. Yeah, I'll see it. At least we're on the lead lap. I don't know what happened. Wow, that's crazy. Weird timing for that. Jeez, what a run. Yeah, that was insanity. Great job. Where was the ship car be? Just curious. Speed roads open. It's are open. Let that 85. So who is where? Nick is in the lead. Uh oh. Checking up in four. Lead car's pitting. No idea what's going on here. We got a pit though. Watch your speed limit in the pits. We think we'll need to stop again. I don't want to go to his inside. He's kind of going a little slower though. Eighty-nine. Kind of worked. Just making sure that I was <laughs> driving hard. I guess I don't know. We're done. Get going. Be mindful. You only have nope. one set of cars remaining. Five, Not four, quite five. past JP, although I tried. Seventy-seven. Okay, it's Not quite enough fuel. Oh, it's close. That definitely did weird things to the field. So many people in the pit cycle. Will be Nick in the lead. Is Billy staying out? No, he's pitting. Interesting. I'm going to try to go for the lead again, and then I'm going to go major tire saving, I think. Try something new with the tire saving because I haven't quite been able to get, figure it out yet. Man, that worked out so perfectly for Nick. Is he trying to go all the way to the end on fuel? There's no way. I'd have to save like 16 laps. 
I knew that man was up to something. He might be trying to save you. <laughs> For real. Just I'm like you drew it up. Hmm. Tons of guys getting trapped. Yeah, he's major saving fuel. He thinks he can make it to the end. I'm not going to make that gamble. I don't think I can. If he can, that would be awesome. I'd love to watch that, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. One left to green. We're going green next time by. Doing some math in my head. I'm going to pit on 161. That's what we're going to do. So we're going to go hard. So we uh, have a shorter run here. I think we do second gear so we don't blast the back of JP by accident. <laughs> I almost just did while thinking about how I'm not going to want to run into the back of JP. I don't know. I think it's probably first gear still, actually. We'll just be easy with it. And Nick likes to go early, so we've got to be ready. Checking up on the back. About to go green. Stay focused. Come on, King. Delay. We're not going green. All right, never mind. Delaying green. Delaying green. green. Still uh, going green. Still going green. If Nick, Nick's trying to save time, uh, fuel, he likes to see that. That's great. Let the paid car by. One left to green. Okay, Let the pace car by. Race the regime at the end of this lap. On 62, I guess. That's where we're going to pit now. Pace car is out. Line up single file behind car number 95. Uh, so many laps to save. I still don't think it would, I can do it. I don't know if Nick plans to or not. Alright, uh, let's be careful this time. It's close, man. 14 laps. It's Maybe that's not close. <laughs> I don't know. I'm debating in my head. I'm obviously going back and forth on it. Go green, stay focused. Uh, they are. Don't do anything. They almost cracked again. They're good. Don't fix it up. Everybody's green. Green, green. Back in third. Keep Whoa! Going. I'm dropping to the bottom here, damn. You're back in second. Holy Two smokes. Go. I don't know what just happened. I almost got him. Alright, here comes the new plan for tire saving. This is what it looks like. We're going to enter middle. Cut down. You are the lady. Just avoid turning the steering wheel as much as possible. I don't know what happened to JP. He must have had a missed shift or something. I hope he's alright. I hope he got it going again. I was having really, a lot of fun battling him. He's obviously the one to beat. He'll be back, I'm sure, right? Can't be too far back. I think this line I'm taking should get us on the right rear more. May or may not be a good thing.
That was a 23.4. Man. Okay, JP's back and forth still. You can take it, Gavin. I'm really glad I didn't tag it. Line up, single file. Pit road is closed. Pace car is out. Pace car. Line up single file. Not what I want to see. Pace car is out. Pits are closed. We can make enough fuel now. Well, thank you all for not running over me, and I have no idea how they didn't blow the engine. Pit road is now open. I got really close. I'm glad I didn't tag you. Catch the pace car. Yeah, saw me. Uh, he checked that, and I didn't get out of the way. That's my bad. No, it's a go. We're checking out for speed. Yeah, pace car is in four right now. Oh man. What do we do? We can't take the final set, so we're just gonna go fuel. Right here. Thought it was too far back for a second. Tires are still good. Okay, go. They want you speed. to single file. You exited the closed pit. Line up at the tail end of the field. Left us 25 carbide. I didn't even think about exiting the closed pits. <laughs> oh, oh no. Yeah, how does that work? Left us 95. Carbide. It said pits were open when we pit. Left us 25 carbide. Yeah, pits are open, but they won't open the exit until everybody on the left on the track has gone past. It was usually never a problem, but because it was a, like a splash and go, essentially, we were out so quickly. That really stinks. Yeah, can we get a black flag clear for that, please? I don't know. I, <laughs> I don't know. Do we kind of deserve it, though? We're not looking. Yeah, I don't know. It, it should have said extra close. What are you supposed to do? Just sit in your pit box and wait? Sit at the exit and wait. What usually you're supposed to do. Let the 77 yeah. Car I heard about that had the position when the yellow flag came out. Letter 11, carbide. You had the position when the yellow flag came Is this out. just a rear of the field penalty? Is it, uh, like, do we get a stop and whatever, 40 second penalty? It should say carbide. It should just be rear of the field. I don't think I'm going to clear it because it tells you on the thing. It says drop to end, so that won't be the worst, I guess. It, it does make you do a stop and go and let me know and I will clear it after the green, but it, sh it should just be into the field. Letter 15, carbide. Yellow. Pits are open. Letter 19, carbide. You had the position when the yellow flag came out. Letter 22, carbide. Should be saving fuel right now, is what it should be doing. Carbide, you had the position when the yellow flag came out. One left to green. Left us nine. Carbide. Do we go now? Left us 82. Carbide, you had the position when the yellow flag came out. Left us 01. Carbide. Are we good? I'm the lucky dog, so I gotta be behind everybody. Hey, okay, getting it sorted out. Please don't run into the back of me. Green, stay focused. Stopping. The 
Heist car is off. Be ready. Same big gaps in front of us. This is a bit scary. We gotta make it to the end on fuel now too. But we gotta move forward, which is gonna be a little tougher. Make it sure I don't run into him. Clear up, Tom. Gotta save fuel. Oh, how's this gonna work out? Well, not terrible position. We're P11. We are on the lead lap. Sorry, I was silent for a while there. I was just thinking about my situation and what we need to be doing here. Not entirely sure what it is. Good on fuel. It's close. Big liftoffs. Should help, I hope. We don't need to push that hard because we are already pretty far back. 57. About two laps short. Should be okay. Sorry for doing that right in front of you, Greg. I just wanted to give you a room to correct yourself. Yeah, appreciate it. And Bryce. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Three point six. Clear high. Dronowski is now in the lead. Okay, is he letting us go? I think so. Okay, get around. Doing big liftoffs to make sure that we make it on fuel. I think we're good now. The Park ahead is now 4 .4 Have another set in the pits if we get another caution. So we're kind of hoping for at this point. Go row 25. We're good on fuel, so I guess we don't have to worry too much about that. Check back in on it in a little bit.
Ah, just a dumb mistake. It's, you never have to think about pit exit being closed when you go into pit because you always change your tires and usually got a bunch of fuel to put in it. But because we only had a tiny bit of fuel to put in, we got done so quickly, the cars on the outside were still going by. So we left the closed pits without thinking. I didn't even look at it. It's really uh, unfortunate there. We can make it to the end on fuel, but we're not the only ones. Pretty sure Nick was actually smart, as usual, and, uh, prob and knew not to uh, leave the closed pit. Me, on the other hand, I don't know how to read, so... <laughs> Left, closed pit. got so many lap cars in between us and the next four position spot. It's going to be hard to get any more than that. I don't know if other guys can make it on fuel though. I don't know how many people pit. A lot of question marks right now. This goes green. I think what we really want is this to not go green though so we can get caught back up use our last set of tires. I don't know. I really don't know what's going to go on here. I don't know what's going to happen. I guess we're lucky not very many people were on the lead lap. Otherwise we would have been even farther back. Kind of stinks. We were suddenly in a good spot, but it was only because JP had the mistake. He was obviously the one to beat. Now he's up in second. He could earn his place back at the front. Right now it's Mitch, though. Expect that. Clear. Get around him. Uh oh, smoke. I don't see anything though. I guess everyone's good. Maybe some other guys took their tires, too, that last time that we came in and only took fuel. Wouldn't think so. They were really fresh tires. But anyone that did that would have been out of uh, pit lane after pit exit opened. This car for position is that 23. Looks like we're catching up pretty quick. So at least we'll be able to get back in the top ten if we can get this done. All right, Colton, that's good consistency. Keep it up. Sliding through the corner up there is Jordan.
Andrew right behind us. Someone hit. Okay. So some guys can't make it on fuel. We can't make it on fuel. 35, 97. I gotta start saving again. Three, four laps. Should have been paying more close attention to that. Forgot about it for too long. Now I gotta get back to being gentle with the throttle, even more so than I already am. Off, get around him. All right, thirty three laps. We are saving some fuel again, a little bit at a time. Watch a bit, see if that helps. You've just done a twenty four point seven. Thirty three, and yeah, we're getting close again. It's really interesting how much it can widely vary depending on how you drive the corners. Seventieth should be able to make it to the end ahead. It looks like he pit out at the same time. Whoa, big loose. Oh my gosh, everybody's getting major loose. There's like two separate people there. Two up high, I gotta watch out for that. It's gonna get tight on exit. Outside. Clear outside if you want to. Car outside. Keep low. Go ahead, Tracy. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Clear. Okay. Thank you. Ground him. Up on Chad. Major Lusa. Car outside. Still there. Don't drift up. Go under. Clear outside. Okay, Colton. You've got 10 minutes of fuel remaining. P9. This is going to be a really interesting finish. I don't know who can make it, who can't. We should be able to, but it's close. Very interesting. We're on the exit close pit strategy. Though I think the exit the open pit exit strategy is going to be better. Contact up ahead, I think. Tough racing. Very, very tough. 
Handling's going away for just about everybody. Is there four position here? About a lap short, I think. Balancing, getting around these cars, saving fuel. This is uh, quite the experience. Way slow in the corner. See now? Running in the back of them. Gotta set something up here. Guy in the wall. Gonna have to go there on the outside. It's using up too much fuel. I don't like it. Backs out because I'm driving like an idiot. Save more fuel again. So we're not gonna make it. Why is he diving it anyway? Clear inside. Inside. Clear. Get a run. <laughs> Tires are terrible right now. It shouldn't be hard to get a run on me. Fresh tires coming by. No grip in these rear tires at all. Fastest lap for Club 23.0, P7. Okay, Colton, there's a car exit in the pit. Heads up. Tyler ahead. It's just gonna end up for us. Still a lap short, I think. I think we're two laps short. Jeez, I gotta take it easier. Good option. Getting loose. I don't know if it's gonna matter if I can't make it on fuel, so. Gotta save the fuel now. But we're gonna run out of time to do so. Oh man, side by side. One lap short on fuel. Yep. Enter too hard. Trying to use the clutch. Teen laps. One lap short.
29 pin. Got people pitting. Just gotta save a little bit more. Your lap time was 24.9. Now the other guy's gotta be close too. Faster guy by though. His fresh tires. We are about half a lap away. Guys are saving. P8. That lap time was 25.0. <laughs> this is crazy. So many things to factor in right now to think about. Oh good, let's add the factor I'm going to blow my freaking tires to that equation. It's crazy. Guys saving fuel. Gavin's saving hard. He's saving real hard. Gotta get around and save. Why is this guy going to my outside? Why would you do that? That is a stupid move, man. That was just not smart. You got some people on old tires that can't turn this thing on exit. Oh, sorry, just stress talking. I don't know. Oof. We might not get green to the end. Two minutes of fuel remaining. God, the tires are terrible. Having to lift off so much, I think, has been. Causing me to not be on the right rear enough. Keep low. You got five left to go. Clear outside. Gavin had to pit. Okay, Colton. I think we could just make it now. I think we're going to be sputtering as we come to the finish line. One gallon remaining. <laughs> One gallon remaining. What a crazy race. So many twists and turns.
Is anyone going to run out? As they get close to the line. I think we might be okay now, but I still got to go real big on the lifts. Gucci's saying pit this lap. That's not happening. Going around the outside. Oh, don't worry, Cole. I ain't gonna be trying to pass ya. Yeah. <laughs> get to the line. All right. Well, that's definitely even it out from the company. Yeah. Ouch, my hand. Bad week for me. P8. That's the end of the race. Bad luck. Man, play. how did Pick all you play. guys make it to the end? That's insane. <laughs> Good job. Very I, good job. I, I topped off on that last caution of the one to go. And saved a little on the corner. I did, but I got a uh, point through. As of right now. Yep, I'm in point three as well. I got point seven. I was clutching it like the whole time, and I started clutching it real hard at the end. Wow, okay. Well, great run. I've never clutched it. I didn't think it was possible to make it. So, I just destroyed the right front anyway, so it didn't even matter. But great run. Mitch great gets race. the win. Great win. That was a really, really fun one. Uh, yeah, great race, guys. That guys, that's that was crazy. I just never heard where, like, where, like, they, like, they deselect your tires off to start going on the grid. Yeah, that is really strange, strange. That's so... No, when... I racing races play out like that in fuel mileage races, that's awesome. That's just phenomenal racing. Really sucked because that first run I went from thirty third or thirty fourth to thirteenth, so I was I was in there to have a shot at that win and then I <laughs> pit and I was like, What? Uh tires suck them? It is what it is though. My tires were terrible. I thought I had a car to win that one. And wow. So Mitch gets the win, Nick second. Run. Andrew third. Man. That kind of stinks because I thought we had a chance for the win. Especially after JP. Had the mistake on the restart, but just that one mistake leaving pit road. Whenever it was closed, sent us to the back, and we just had no chance from there. We were able to pass some people that couldn't make it to the end, but man, that was crazy. Just doing some typing. Man, I am exhausted after that race. I don't know if I did everything right. I don't, I don't know, man. Probably should have been saving earlier in that run more. Yeah, like Chad says, trying to save fuel when realizing relapse short, but... Really, I don't know. I feel like there's probably better ways I could have done that, but. We still get P8. That's definitely just fine. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. I am exhausted. I don't really want to go through all of the wrecks. Maybe we'll just go to the cautions, because we did not have too many of those. 
We'll skip all the way down to right about here. Or we had green flag pit stops too, didn't we? So. That's just some blinking. Camera a little bit better here. I think this is just green flag pit stops. I think our first run we got green flag pit stops. That's right. Okay. So we'll move ahead a little bit then. Is this it? This is already under caution. Lowercase Ryan wrecks somebody under yellow. But what caused the yellow is the question, because we were under, already under yellow. So what happened? Looking for the point of yellow. There it is. Who is sideways? Here it is. So the 58 trying to go to the pits. Much too fast. Bounces off the inside wall and there it is. And then that happened under yellow. 12 of a laden just dumped out of nowhere. Is it going to happen again? Oh my god, why? Why are we doing this, guys? This is the easy part. Jake runs out of the back of them. They're checking up. That can happen a lot here. Whoa, that was so close. I actually did tap him, I think, because his rear end got pushed out of shape, but it doesn't send him around. I'm very thankful. Because all of a sudden, he was just stopped right in front of me. It would have felt awful if I was not able to move around him. And then lowercase Ryan gets wrecked there. How does it happen? I think he has to lift real hard because he's about to hit the outside wall. And then uh, the 29 just not quite ready for it. It's tough to be. It's just kind of a classic Dover wreck, unfortunately. Does anybody else get caught into it? Doesn't look like it. Looks like he's able to keep it down low, but... Yeah. Just some blinking there. When is the next caution? I think we got another one. Soonish, maybe? Let's see. Perhaps down here. Here's me killing my tires. Six a little off the wall. Nineteen and him to get together, but they're okay. Actually, I think we might be green to the end now. It's hard to tell because we had so many different pit stops everywhere. Hard to know when everybody's pitting and when they're not. Degree off the wall. It's down there, slow on the apron. I'm not sure we're going to see anything else, because I'm pretty sure it went green to the end after that. Because at this point, we've already made our mistake exiting the closed pit. That sucks. That just that killed us. We were never able to get back from that because there was no more cautions after that. I wonder if we could see it. I mean, it's not going to be that interesting. 
See, we come in, top it off. But there's still just a couple people coming. Only a couple, too. That sucks, man. If we wait just a little bit longer. I just didn't even think about it. But you see, Nick's coming out. He didn't get a penalty, so it was just that much of a difference. He gets the uh, exit open. We do not. John still got fourth, too, so I just had a terrible last run anyway. No excuse for me. I did not handle, like, saving fuel and everything well at all, so... Missed opportunity here, maybe, but still the top ten. That's fine. I'll take it. At least it wasn't a total disaster. Uh, we will go ahead and look at our race results page, or I guess... Hmm, yeah, race results page. Scrolling over to that. And here we are. So, Mitch gets the win. Congrats to him. We also will have some bonus points, of course, for our laps led. Ian gets the fastest lap. Oh, man, by five one-thousandths of a second. Dang it. We actually tied with Mitch, but Ian got the fastest lap. Man, so close. That kind of makes me wish I had, I don't know, gone for it, I guess. I don't know. We needed to save fuel that final run, though. And there's no way I could have known that we were that close to pulling that off, but oh well. We get the laps led. Uh, not the most, though. That goes to JP. Well earned. I didn't actually even realize we finished ahead of JP. I don't feel like I deserve that, but I, I think it was just the diver divergence of strategy. I think maybe he had to pit? I actually have no idea. There's like a thousand different strategies out there by the end of this thing. I'm so exhausted, to be honest. But at least we raised a clean race. Um, we get bonus points, so essentially we got more points than the uh, guy that finished seventh there and with Tyler. And uh, it, it's a good day for us, so we'll take it. And then we'll go ahead and move on to the uh, new updated standings. Gavin finishes behind us, so we should have gotten a little bit closer. But how much closer and where we caught from behind it all? We will look. So, we are now the points leader. We up our average finish a little bit from, with our 8th place. Get some more bonus points. Ian back there. Where did he finish? I don't actually remember. Ian actually finishes behind us as well in 11th. So we gain on both Gavin and Ian. Tracy didn't have that great of a run. He had a 20th place. He had a rough one. And a uh, big gap back to John, even though he's been finishing well just about every race because he hasn't been to every race. So we take the uh, points lead. So at, at the very least, we were able to avoid disaster. A couple of scary moments, so I'm not going to take that for granted. But that will do it for this one. Thank you for watching. So many things to unpack, unpack here. My mind is just running wild because there were so many things to keep track of. Fuel, tires, lap cars around us, guys with faster tires catching up to us. Just a thousand things, so I'm going to get a meal and probably sleep early tonight. <laughs> that was quite the event, but thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'm definitely going to check out some other perspectives on this one to see how that looked for, for them, but that'll do it for my perspective. Have a good one.